Now let us move on to the second question of the exercise. The second question is find 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2, 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5, 16 raised to the power of 3 by 4 and 125 raised to the power of minus 1 by 3. So let us first solve the first bit. The first bit is to find 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2. First we shall write 9 in its irreducible factors. Therefore, the prime factors of 9 are 3 and 3, as 9 can be written as 3 times 3. Therefore, 3 times 3 can also be written as 3 square. Therefore, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 can be written as 3 square whole power 3 by 2. As we know, if a power is raised to a power, then we need to multiply the exponents, since a power m whole power n can be written as a power m times n. Therefore, 3 square whole power 3 by 2 can be written as 3 power 2 times 3 by 2. Here, the common factor 2 gets cancelled and we are remained with 3 whole power 3. So, 3 whole power 3 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 3 is 27. Therefore, 9 raised to the power of 3 by 2 is equal to 27. Now let us move on to the second bit of the question. So the second bit is to find 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5. So first let us write 32 in its irreducible factors. So we shall find the prime factors of 32. 32 can be written as 2 times 16, 16 is written as 2 times 8, and 8 is written as 2 times 4, 4 is written as 2 times 2. Therefore, 32 is written as 2 multiplied with itself 5 times, which is 2 raised to the power of 5. Therefore, 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is written as 2 raised to the power of 5 whole raised to the power of 2 by 5. As we know, if a power is raised to a power, then we need to multiply the exponents. Since a power m whole power n is written as a power m times n. Therefore, 2 power 5 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is equal to 2 whole power 5 times 2 by 5. Here the common factor 5 in the exponent gets cancelled and we are left over with 2 whole power 2 which is 2 times 2 gives 4. Therefore 32 raised to the power of 2 by 5 is equal to 4.